All right, so now let's wrap up this subsection with uh, a lemma and a corollary. So the lemma here says that a matrix changes bases if and only if it is non-singular. Okay, now I'm not going to go through the proof here. It's pretty long. Uh, it does rely on a lot of the things that we've already talked about. The fact that we're going to be dealing with elementary matrices, that they're invertible, and then creating that matrix in, um, by composing all of those um, elementary uh, matrices. Okay, so again, there's aspects to the argument that we've looked at before. So I'm going to ask that you read and understand that proof in the text. It's a good proof. It's worth reading and uh, understanding. Okay, so again, Lemma 2 says a matrix changes bases if and only if it is non-singular. Okay, corollary 1 says a matrix is non-singular if and only if it represents the identity map with respect to some pair of bases. Okay, two interesting, useful results. Okay, just make sure you know them. And uh, that finishes this subsection.